Hello and welcome back to episode 13 of Rule the Waves 2 German Brawlers. Where last we left off, we were really turning the war around against Russia and France. Things are looking good. Russia is collapsing. We've got our raiders out everywhere. Which some of them have had to... Oops. Some of them have had to do minor repairs here or there. So they've come off of raiding and gone into active fleet. I think everything else looks just fine. We'll just have to wait for our uh, Mackinsons to finish repairing. All right, and with that, let's keep things moving along. Yes, dominating around a few other places. Government collapses. We have a change of flags. Power has been proposed. Communist regime has taken over. We are forced to accept harsh peace conditions. We take Finland. I'll stick with the Baltic states. The stuff between Finland and St. Petersburg be kind of neat to raid just that and not have to worry about all the shipping down in, in the Baltic states. General peace is concluded. I get to take stuff from Russia, but I don't get to mess with France at all. I'll take. I'm okay with that. 43 armed merchant cruisers. Wow. Get our ships back from internment. Well, now. A successful conclusion. Now, with Italy as an ally, going to war with, they have Austria-Hungary in here, but they're not active. Just a thought I had, randomly. Um, thinking war with France would be good. We got Mediterranean holdings. We have a Mediterranean ally. Mm. I think we'll put, well, everyone except Italy on loan. We'll see how that works out. With the end of the war, as much need for these. They did just start. I'm going to leave them on hold for now. We'll try to complete them. Uh, I may just scrap these two. We'll see. Uh, something I do want to do since we are no longer at war. I want to see what a refit of these destroyers would look like. So, expensive, but we'll replace the machinery. Like we can bump them up three knots. Or not. Hit uh, double tubes. Or their torpedoes will be a little bit heavy. Oh, we can make it work. We have no director. Quality? No, we still have the fives are the ones with good quality. So we could make these work for a while. Mostly it's trade protection, which is what we've been using them as. I 
or can you add yeah because the guns are small enough even though they're primary amounts you can actually increase them or add new ones for larger guns that's not a possibility I forget where the breakpoint is though probably like six inch I'm pretty comfortable with this refit I like it. it keeps it in service gives it a few more knots of speed when it's in trade protection mode and uh, the double center line that gives it a little bit of a threat so ideally when you're in the middle of a battle and these guys are zipping around protecting trade and doing coastal patrol and you uh, don't see them you'll get the reports they'll be able to get away and they're a threat they may sink something and that's what I want out of them and that's a little bit expensive to rebuild them but I don't feel like building a dedicated one so let's rebuild all of those may build more of our Corvettes, but not at the moment. Who else is getting kind of old? Have we gotten any? We do have Director. I was just remembering that we had gotten Director, but we hadn't rebuilt anything since we were using everything. Simple rebuild for the director. The yeah, we'll rebuild these as well. That'll move them up into Northern Europe. And these ones. And these ones. Well, do I really want to? At this point, these are more of a um, invasion bombardment ship. I think I'm actually going to scrap them. They're just not very useful to me anymore. Too slow. It'll cost a lot to refit them. So let's replace machinery and that gives us 100 tons to work with. We can't even get a knot of speed out of. Could replace the guns. Makes those a little bit better. But all in all, these are these are a little bit too long in tooth. Just sucking up maintenance I could be using for other things. So, crap, they will be. Question now becomes whether I want these to be replaced. I think I'd like to. We'd kind of put the Ariadne on hold. I would like to put those out. As a reminder, the Ariadnes are these ships. And I may um, tweak the design a bit. As it's been a few years and we've had some weight savings. Bring all of our... Raiders back to Northern Europe. You'll notice maintenance is lower in your home port. Okay. I 
think I might put these into the reserve fleet. Still have 24. They are technically my my fleet ships. I don't think I'm going to put the destroyers on reserve actually. I don't want to give up this elite. It makes a small difference for how and when they launch torpedoes. But I like to retain that. The Raiders, raiding cruisers, um, I'll probably put those on. Just because they don't need to have the best crew quality. And then everything else is coming along. Probably have to use my battle cruisers to fill in these locations until I can get these ships refit. And I don't think I can get that area out in a reasonable period of time. And that's how everything shakes out. Well, everything for the time being. finishing their workup. All or nothing armor. That'll help if I go for all or nothing armor, which I will with some ships, but not all, all ships. This is the German sluggers, or brawlers. We want to get in close, we want to fight them, so the turtleback armor or sloped armor scheme Beneficial for that close range combat. It's kind of weak against long range combat, so I don't want to do everything in it. Extra damage. Well, that's because they're all refitting right now. Gradual improvement of armor quality. Okay. Could have the rest. Yep. Put them all in reserve. It's saving scraps, but that's that's money we didn't have before. Oh, nice. Yes, we have none. So any is good. Something we can request. Or we can. Interesting. we can get better float plane. And this will probably be where it tells me, uh, yeah, you don't have fighters yet. I know. Oh, well, that worked. Guess I shouldn't have done it willy-nilly. Oh, well, we'll have a fighter proposal soon. Finishing a few more. Getting our reconstructions done. Hmm. You know, I don't really care. India is their big holding in the Indian Ocean, not Ceylon. Although, if I remember correctly, Ceylon was a pretty major base. 
let's get Central Pacific, South Pacific. Actually, you know, let's do this the easy way. Cancel that move. Ah, whatever. Corn station. And then we can just run for redesign. Director, have the space, barely. Batch doom. Zones, yes, thank goodness. Throw on a bigger dock. Other area to do. Okay, yes. Still known very good on that end. Finishing the rest of the reconstructions for major capitals. Damage control improvement. Moved. The plane carrier. All plane carrier. Moving reserve. Stars are almost done as well. More ASW. So I have a flying boat now. Of course I'll buy it. Improved airship performance. And now we have a float plane. Too bad I just refit the entire Lead. Maybe that can be part of the refit of the or rework of the Ariadne. Oh, of course we should be upset. All right, let's take a look at these fighters. Mm -hmm. I don't can carry bombs, all carrier capable. I have one that's really tough, one that's really maneuverable, and also has better firepower. Middle of range, this one's the long range one. And this one, this one's almost like fast medium range one better guns range is pretty poor though but these are early fighters i get it we'll do that take the arado we have a flying boat float plane and a fighter what else can i request for a medium bomber, which I would care about firepower and range, or maybe not firepower, because that's, yeah, bomb load, there's what I was looking for. Okay, not surprising, and with a dive bomber, I, I imagine, and the torpedo bomber. 
but we can improve the ones we have already. Which I think I do because I want the float planes to have some good rain. And then reliability. Start resuming our Helgolands. Finish the reconstruction on a bunch of our destroyers. Okay, decent dreadnought by the British. Duquesne, which I am unimpressed with, but it looks old. Better 9 inch guns. Zoom the second Helgoland. And let's start spreading these guys out. Is foreign tonnage requirement. That's all we need. But I had some in each area. Okay. So we need one in the Mediterranean. One in West Africa, in the Indian Ocean, one in South Africa, the new zone, so it got stuck at the bottom, one in Southeast Asia, two in Northeast Asia, now let's see, we have over Central Pacific and South Pacific. Yep, that should cover everything. Central Pacific, also one of the new zones. South Pacific, one of the old ones, so it is higher. That leaves us four to play with. Better industrial production. British continuing to have trouble with the rebellion. Offering to sell us. Okay. I'm always willing to buy technology, especially gun technology. Let's start taking these off of foreign station. And moving them back to Northern Europe, so taking up extra maintenance. Looks like they hadn't really moved all that far away. Two. These ones. Not all of them. I think I'll build low if I make this one. Needs to be at least 19,000. They don't count fully. We'll leave this one be sure. We'll move those last two as the cruisers take take positions. Ooh, new Italian battleship. Those are our allies and I like that design. Not too dissimilar from our own. Lighter armored. Got our flying boats now. More turn. Two more turns. 
won't be able to recall the last of our battle cruisers. No, I'm not going to. I'm. I will not sell means to more accurately shoot. Oh wow, Dalon is independent. French really want to sell us gun technology. Better accuracy, bigger destroyers. I'll have to make a fleet destroyer at some point. Then we'll put these to active fleet. Move them back to Europe together. Sister ships on a world tour. All right, all looks good. Only thing I might want to do is refit the G9s. Because they're going to get old before we're done with the next war. Whoever that may be with. Kind of curious. Okay, we got all four tons. Who knew? I have no director for destroyers. Could remove one of the torpedo mounts. Instead, go with two tubes. And... No, nope, can't quite do that. Reduce the rounds per gun. Put mines in there. Mine sweeping. Mine sweeping gear is too heavy. I'll just put a couple mines on them. Not much. A risk. Because those mines can be hit and explode. But destroyers are kind of squishy anyways. Hmm. That should be a relatively simple refit. What I lack is mine sweeping gear on something. Hey, more industrial production. Good for our our budget. And what's high capacity pumps? Nah, I've got plenty of money. Roof triples. And they said, amphibious operation. New float plane for evaluation. Here's our old one. And definitely much better range. And toughness. And maneuverability. So, uh, sorry, Bomber Voss. We're going to go with the Fieslers. Aww. So much for that firepower advantage. Suppose I should build some air bases at this point. Uh, I think I'm gonna wait where we've got plenty of production going on. Well, maybe in Northern Europe. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. We already have an airship base. I would like an air base at this point. Okay. Guess we won't be. We in the new docks. Uh, no. We want to go to war with France. More weight savings. And Kaiser, they have not given up Alsace. Hmm. 
Not that we've been in a, a war where we could have lost Alsace since 1900, I believe. Germany at that point had Alsace-Lorraine region right there, causing a point of um, irritation to the French. Some of the historical animosity. There's a lot more to it than just a specific piece of land. Okay, not seeing anything stand out. More industrial production. Man, this is this is a great industrial revolution. Keep cruising. Don't really need the money, but the Italians are pretty friendly right now. Build a float plane and you think it's awesome. Not better than the Fiesler. No, oh, no. We're, we're good. Really? Um, all right. Wait, savings. So now I have Northern Europe and the Mediterranean on lockdown with allies. Whoever I go to war with is not going to be happy. Too few armored cruisers. Yes, I'm trying to fix that. Well, not currently. I'm finishing those dreadnoughts first. All two boilers. All right. More machinery, weight savings. Drop the intel effort on the British. I'm just going to sell us stuff now. We'll resume this dreadnought. Actually, we'll do both. We'll just drain the budget for the time being. Okay, sure, yeah. Shooting competition. More of our battle cruisers wins it. Wow. That's a good thing. That, I uh, believe, bumps them up to elite status. Oh, I forgot which one it was. I mean, the sieblets. Why, sure. Naval aviation heavier than air. All right, gotten a few new tech tech areas. We want to be able to conduct amphibious operations. Can't shift this one yet, or you, what? That was restricted at first. Maybe it was... No? Okay. Keep that on high. None of these other ones are new. Yeah, all those are pretty standard. Question is, do I want to set either of these to low? I know you're all going to be screaming at me, but it's really not the focus of this playthrough. We will focus on um, carriers at some point, but the I know I'm not exactly role playing, but the concept and strategy for this really stretch what the the battleship can do in the area of aviation, you design them a little bit differently. However, I, I still want the heavier than air since the support role. And we'll leave uh, shipboard aircraft operation on medium until we get at least CVLs. Light carriers can support the battle fleet with fighters. Japanese government interested in buying stuff. Hey, more damage for torpedoes. Uh, that is welcome. 
participants who've seen how inaccurate the pre-battle assessments can be. No, not sharing with the U.S. All right, airships have bombs. 1915. Well, that's close enough to history. Oop, wrong button. Okay. Italian government, I will share with, and cross deck firing is kind of obsolete at this point. I mean, this point in history, it's not obsolete, but for us, we've got super firing turrets. We're, we're good. X sliders. Got 18 inch guns. Not that I'm likely to use something so heavy. Oh, I know what they mean now. We have an improved model. And that is pretty clearly improved. Oh, I forgot to start them. Oh, well. Do we even have any submarine? Do. Could have built some. Oop, wrong button. Built some medium ones. <laughs> Not against that. Accuracy, what, um, you're an ally. Build more docks. Russians want to buy torpedo production? No. Range finder? Eh, why not? Okay. Hmm. I'm going to be a jerk on this one. I don't want to sacrifice the budget right now. I want to minimize the hit that we're going to take. Especially with tensions starting to actually rise with France. That asking again is not going to get you a different answer. Mastering improved airship and that'd be nice. We're invasion range now. And that is a bit of an improvement. Man, Britain is not having a good game. No. We want to go to war with France. Better armor. Better shells. SW mines. Um, sure. Ah, oh, reduced horsepower requirements. That'll be handy. Won't need as much uh, engine room. Better airship performance. Let's see, what do we have for float planes? I'm not really interested. It's a very, very marginal the reliability. Pretty poor. This one is a mystery. 
but I'm not going to buy it. I should request a new one. Tell them to focus on reliability. Go with reliability first, then rank. Spending all this money on new aircraft, I haven't even built any. These are really low too. Better submarines, seaplane bases. What I was trying. El Pitafor boats. But with that, I believe we are close to time. So a future war, probably with France, we'll have to wait. With that, we, we had a great conclusion to the previous war. Although we didn't get a chance to tackle any of the French possession in Africa or Southeast Asia. Either one would have been nice. Um, we did get the Baltic states from Russia. And uh, that's about it. We did a lot of refitting. Shuffled things around. Talked about the Ariadne, but that we'll have to wait for another episode. As well, our new fleet destroyer, which we haven't even designed yet. So, we have quite a bit. That and we're getting some ASW technology. We're probably going to design an improved Corvette. Possibly a mine-sweeping Corvette as well. And a mine-laying Corvette. We may have specialized Corvettes. I don't know yet. Let me know what you think. But with that, I'm not going to keep you any longer. appreciate you staying till the end. Leave any comments. Uh, I, I love reading them, and I keep finding out all kinds of new things um, from you guys. So please do leave a comment below, and I'll see you next time. Take care.